Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to speak on the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very important doctrine. God is revealed as not a spirit only, but as a man also. From the Torah, God is a man upon the earth and a being in heaven at the same time. A study of angels reveals to us that God did present himself in the likeness of a man during the time of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Also, Genesis 1.26 tells us that God made man in the image of himself. Quote, in our image, quote, or unquote. Note the plurality, in our image. Wasn't singular. Angels are not mentioned as merely genderless beings. Many verses explicitly reveal the male gender. An etymological meaning of Gabriel is man of God. One of the wickednesses of Sodom and Gomorrah before the destruction was homosexuality. The perverts did not want Lot's chaste daughters, they wanted the men with Lot. They, they wanted these angels. Uh, they were men, and uh, homosexuals were attracted to them. They didn't know what they were, uh, what they were playing with very powerful beings. The men with Lot were angels. Take notice. Theophanically, in Genesis 18.2, God, now his name is Jehovah in this verse. God was with the other two men. There were three men. God, Jehovah, and the two angels. He, Jehovah, was the one who rained brimstone and fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord. Who's the Lord? Jehovah. Out of the heavens. Genesis 19 verses 24 through 27. Note the same identity of person and oneness. This was Jehovah on the earth who rained fire and brimstone from Jehovah out of the heavens. Jehovah was in, according to the scripture, both places at the same time. So, when you really look at it, when Jesus Christ the Lord came as a baby uh, born of a virgin Mary, this is uh, it's, it's not too great to understand. It wasn't too great to understand anyway, but realizing that, that God has been on the earth before Jesus came into being. Uh, makes, it, makes it easy to understand that, that, that God could be born from a virgin also. And, and he can appear as, as he does. Let me read Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. This is from the King James Version. Many people like that translation. I recommend it for people who don't study the biblical languages. It's a, you can use a concordance with it and uh, find the Hebrew and Greek meanings of words. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it 
and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. Hallelujah. Here's John 1 verse 14. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Well, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was, was with God, and the Word was God. Now this verse tells us the Word was made flesh. So, I mean, right there it's telling you that God has made flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus dwelt, dwelt among the, the Hebrew people during his time. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. They were, the men at the time of the Lord Jesus were around God in the flesh. And they beheld held his glory. He did miracles. He did uh, uh, great great things. But it is very important for people to understand who Jesus Christ is. He's the Lord. He's He's God in the flesh. He's the only way unto the Father. He's the God the Son. And there's no other way to God the Father. And there's, there are a lot of uh, heresies out there today. And there are a lot of heretics that claim that, that uh, Jesus was something other than God in the flesh. Which is condemned. It's, it's, it, it could uh, lead a person to uh, being damned forever. Read your Bible. Let your scriptures be your guide. Read the the Old Testament scriptures that I, or a scripture that I read to you. Read the New Testament uh, Gospels: Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, read the whole Bible. They verify. I mean, they uh, attest to who Jesus was, and it's very important for you to know who he was, is, and shall be. Have a good evening.